entropy. You have probably heard the term entropy flying around in various books or science fiction movies, but can we understand what it is? The term entropy was introduced by the brilliant 19th century German physicist Rudolf Clausius in 1865, but we'll be looking at the version presented by the equally brilliant Austrian physicist Ludwig Boltzmann in 1870. Now, let's imagine that there are four clones, each wearing a red t-shirt. As you can see, these clones are entirely identical, completely boring, and none of them stand out. So why don't we give one of them a green t-shirt? He looks very pleased with himself. So what if we allow the clones to swap their t-shirts? Then we can see that there are four combinations of red and green. What happens if we gift another green t-shirt to one of these clones? Well, in that case, there are six possible combinations. We can visualise the number of possibilities on a chart. The case with the largest number of possibilities is when two clones wear red and two wear green. Therefore, this is the case with the largest entropy. And the lowest entropy cases are those where the clones wear the same colour. What does this tell us? Well, if we were to pick four clones at random, it is more likely for us to see a varied mixture of red and green instead of seeing all clones wearing the same colour in a uniform fashion. It's as if nature itself favours variety. And if you can understand this, well, you can understand entropy.